Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and I just got some new oil pastels in the mail from Paul Rubens and it's a set of 72 colors. So I have done a review on Paul Rubens oil pastels in the past, but these are their new ones. I think they're called Haya, Haya oil pastels, um, but they look beautiful and I've heard they are like painting with butter. So I am down for trying oil pastels again, even though it's not my type of medium, but they just look too good to pass up. So let's dive in and give them a test. Okay guys, so today we are unboxing and testing this set of 72 oil pastels from Paul Rubens. They are their Haya set. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm excited to, di to dig in because I don't know, it just looks like fun. So let's open it up. It comes with a swatch card here, it looks like. Um, here's the information, I guess the pigments and all that, I think. Um, it is in Chinese, but it does have the uh, English name too, which is great. Um, it tells you about all the different sets they have, the numbers of sets, what else? And yeah, so here is the swatch card, which we're gonna swatch all the colors on, and let's let's check out and see what these colors look like. Ooh, okay, I see some pretty beautiful colors already. They have a nice range of greens, which makes me very excited because greens are my jam. Um, there are some beautiful colors in this set, and if you've noticed, they have changed their design from their like flat tip. Now they have this kind of like bullet tip, which Looks like it's going to be a lot easier to draw with, so I'm very excited to try these. Um, pastels are very, very, very messy, um, so I should probably roll up my sleeves and we can dive right in and get into this. Okay, so on each of the pastels, it does give you all the pigment information. It gives you the pigment, it gives you the transparency and the light fastness, which is great. Um, I think that these are really easy to peel. So when you start using it and you need to peel back the label, they're gonna be fairly easy. Um, I like the design better than the other ones. So that's great news. It's hard to tell with the white, but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> wow, they feel so soft to use. like. Very, very soft. I feel like these are going to be really easy to blend, which will be nice. Um, so you're not like straining your finger <laughs> trying to blend them out. They just glide on with like barely any pressure, which is exciting. So I'm going to swatch these with a bit of music and then we can talk about it once I'm done. Okay, so after swatching, um, there are some beautiful colors that I really love. But one thing I really enjoy about these is the label tells you whether they are opaque or transparent or semi-transparent, which I found really helpful uh, because you can see some of them. The ones that are transparent, I kind of see what it means. Like before I was kind of questioning, like how can a pastel be transparent or opaque? Um, but the ones that look a little bit more streakier, streakier in my opinion, are the ones that are labeled, you know, transparent or semi-transparent. So it kind of makes me want to grab for the more opaque ones, just because I feel like they look creamier and thicker, but there's some beautiful colors in this. Like I love this one, this kind of sagey kind of color, this gray bluish color. There's just so many beautiful colors in this set that I'm kind of overwhelmed at the thought of painting something because I really don't know what I want to do yet, but we're going to figure it out and we are going to paint. Do you say paint or draw with these? I, I don't know because they look like paint, but it's like a drawing motion. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but let's try and create something with these. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Paul Rubens oil pastel paper for this, and I think I'm going to tape off 
a border and I kind of want to try a landscape. So let's give this a go. Okay, I'm gonna have some paper towel ready because these are so messy. This medium is just crazy. So I'm gonna try my best. Again, like I said, I am not that familiar with using oil pastels. This is still such a like steep learning curve for me. Um, so I just wanna just try my best. I'm not gonna expect too much. I'm gonna have my color swatches up here just so I can kind of reference the colors that maybe I wanna use, um, see the opacity of them, and then we can go. So I kind of wanna do like a beach scene, I think. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go. So I want some like turquoisey kind of water, I think. So let's turn this around. I'm just gonna pick my colors. Okay, and I'm gonna give this a go. I really hope this turns out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. So I have this photo here that I found off Pinterest. I don't know if you can see it. It's just like a simple kind of scene, but I really like the color of the water. So I'm gonna just use it as a guide. So what I've kind of learned is that I need to just lay down less and I don't wanna layer as much as I wanna kind of place in some of the colors, I think. So I'm just going to do the horizon line here where the water is like that. Just kind of mark out where I want the water and then like that. And then I'm going to have kind of the grassy area over here. This is all going to be sand. Um, so I have like this color, but I'm probably going to add some white in there. So I'm just layering down some really light layers to start and then I can just build it up where I need to I think <laughs> is how this works um I don't know if this is the right color for this so I just want to kind of put in some darker waves closer to the the shore and then we can blend it out I think I'm going to add some white because it's pretty white like the water has a lot of highlight on it. So I'm just adding in those darker bits. And I do like this tip better than um, the other tips, like that flat tip that the Paul Rubens ones had before. I really enjoy this a lot better. Um, I don't know, it just feels a little bit easier to work with, I think, but it's so smooth. Like, so now I'm gonna just add my white in there and then I'll start blending things out in a little bit. I'm just gonna try and lay down some of this color first. I really don't know if I'm using these right. I tried to watch a couple tutorials because like I said, this is not my, my thing, but <laughs> um, I don't know if it's gonna go well. I'm just gonna add some shadow in here like that. I feel like this is one of those mediums that it's, it's kind of like those uh, water soluble crayons it comes together once it's all blended you know what I mean it looks kind of like weird at the beginning but then it looks a little bit better after so I'm going to add some blue for some clouds like we just see like the bottom of some of these clouds here then I'm going to add some white I think it's like mainly white clouds And you can always make your sky different and have fun with it. I just, I don't know, just trying something new. Just adding my white so that I can blend it in. Okay, let's start blending and see how this goes. So I'm gonna use my finger. These feel a lot smoother to blend than the past ones. I found they, they like you really had to press with your finger and it was just like a workout for your hand. I was like, oh my goodness, like just, I couldn't. But these feel a little bit smoother to blend out. And I do have some blending tools that I could use, but I just kind of like the feel with my hand. I feel like I might have a bit better control I'm gonna try and do some like bottoms of these clouds. I 
We'll definitely add in another color in there after too, maybe a little bit of gray or something. Just trying to smooth it out. Okay. Then for this part, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. I feel like we need a bit more in there. Oops. Oops. Now it's not straight. Hold on. I want a straight horizon line. And I'm just going to start blending back and forth just to get it all muddy. And then I'm going to add in some white just to kind of get it a little bit thicker. See, it's already starting to look pretty cool. Okay, it is darker towards the back there, so that's fine that it's darker. Then I'm going to add in some deeper bits with more of the color. So I'm just adding some highlights in here. Trying to go around those deeper waves. This is fun to use to create water just because the blending is just so smooth and fun. I really enjoy that. I feel like we could add a little bit more like deeper colors in here, like a green. Just to make it a little bit darker. Just to the peaks of some of those waves. You know what I mean? This color. And then just a little tiny waves as we get closer to the back. Then we'll blend that out. <laughs> It lays down really smooth. And I feel like we need some of that darkness back here. Smooth it out. I like the water. I think that looks really cool. This is fun. You know what's funny is I've tried to do flowers with oil pastels in the past and I just feel like I haven't had as much luck with that. I don't know. So this is actually kind of nice to do. Now I'm just gonna add some white to the sand just to make it a lot lighter. And hopefully it'll blend a bit better. Because if you're just blending a small amount of um, what's it called? Pastel to paper. It doesn't really blend out well. You gotta kind of add a bit more color to blend it together. So I'll add some more color in a second. Kind of want this like grayish sand. This grayish brown. Kind of works. A little bit more color and I'm trying to switch fingers in between like my blue and then the sand color I'm gonna just peel a little bit of this off because I kind of wish they had more whites in here I do have um, some extra Paul Rubens whites which actually I might start using I don't know if it's too different or not but 
you go through the white, I find, so fast sometimes when you're trying to do a lot of highlights and stuff. I feel like it's looking pretty good. The one thing I'm learning is that you don't necessarily just want to like layer on top. You kind of want to place the colors where you want them. Like because they just lift so easily and blend so easily together, it's hard to get layers. So um, I just find that it's not as easy if you try and do that. I'm learning, learning lots. Okay, now let's, I'm going to do a little bit of brown in here, but then I want the green. Have that together. Just kind of doing a light base for this green patch. And then like even some little bits of green grass kind of coming out. with my finger. I don't know if that's actually working. Kind of works. I'm going to get some darker green. That's too dark. <laughs> it still works. Okay. And then I want to do like those long kind of wheat looking things. So I got to try and make it small. This is the hard part I find is that it's just trying to make these like detailed lines. It's a little trickier. because it's not like a solid point, right? I mean, that's pretty good. It's not bad. Just trying to make it thinner with like a stroke kind of going up. You know? little smaller ones down here. Kind of works. Kind of want a lighter bit to it. I feel like I need a little bit more shadow down here or something. I kind of like it. I feel like I, we need to work on the sky a little bit more. But we can get there. I wonder if I should use like a bit of blue. Or it's like an ultramarine. Just for like a bit of shadow. Oh, maybe it'd be going this way. I don't know. Just a little bit of blue in there. You know? I kind of like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then I feel like I don't know if what I else I should do with the sky. I feel like I need something else. 
like a change in color or something. Okay, my fingers are so dirty. I'm gonna make sure I wipe them. Just adding some darker blue in there. I feel like a sunset would look really beautiful in these, which I can try maybe next time. If you guys are interested in seeing more of pastel stuff, me and pastels, I don't know if this is worthy of watching, but I'm going to try and make it a little thicker here. Ah, I have brown. This is the one thing I have to remember is I have some other colors on my fingers still. Just gonna try and I don't know. I feel like I, I really have to work on the clouds and that would take a long time. But I mean it's pretty cool. I'm I'm not mad at it at all. I feel like we need a little bit more texture in here somehow. Ah gotta remember there's other colors on my fingers. But yeah, that's kind of it. I think that's as far as I'm going to go today just because I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Um, but that was a lot of fun. I feel like like you could just keep adding to it and adding and it would just be a lot of fun. But those are the new Paul Rubens uh, oil pastels. Really enjoyed them. Um, I think I might try more with these. They're just such a different medium and it's a lot of fun. It is messy, which I'm not always fond of kind of like watercolor because it's not <laughs> too much of a mess commitment but you know once in a while you just got to get your hands like super dirty and just have fun with it so let's just take off the tape and just see also if you want to preserve these um, I was looking up a fixative and a lot of people just said you can use hairspray I mean it's not archival but it works so I might spray this down with hairspray at some point just to, so it doesn't like smudge everywhere but I mean it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. <laughs> I have a lot to learn with landscapes as well as pastels. But that's it. Those are the new pastels, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.